Hello, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Welcome on in Yuzu and Mickey and a small me and Metro Dynasty. Hello. I'm glad you all are enjoying the music. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's been a hot second. Let me uh, unzoom, show you what we have working with. So many guys. I have to my I have to have my little guys at my desk. At this point, people are gonna wonder where they are. <laughs> the people are gonna wonder where they are. Dave Batista is also hiding here. He I'm kind of running out of room for my little guys. So <laughs> We'll have to just like, you know, switch between uh Tony and Dave, however we're feeling. Um I I feel like it feels like a Tony day to me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, but welcome on in everybody. I oh she's an imposter. Do I look like I know what a J is? I just want a picture of a Oh, so it's one of those days, huh? <laughs> It's always a Tony day. Oh no. Yuzu. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Putting me to work. <laughs> yeah, you did get my ass. You did. Oh, you know what? Hello you know there. what? You know what, Yuzu? Oh, hello there. Oh, hi, Shrek. You know what, Yuzu? You, you know, you're reminding me. Don't look at that. There's nothing hiding in there. It's just, except maybe, like, future BC 3.0 stuff. Um, <laughs> Welcome on in, Forte Carrot. Crying, sobbing on the floor, no. You know what's happening. You know what's happening, Yuzu. It's about time. It's about time, and Yuzu's gonna cr cry and, and kick and scream. But it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> you can't do this to me. <laughs> I'm adding a spin toggle. I'm fucking adding a spin toggle to this model. <laughs> so I don't have to manually do it every time. <laughs> you can't do this to me. Hello there. <laughs> I can and I will. Disable the lock on this, please. Let me. There we go. Spin. There we go. It's it, honestly, it's in a perfect spot. <laughs> Wee. Wait. Uh, it has to be what, like negative. No, <laughs> robbing me of everything. Everybody's having a fucking panic attack. <laughs> What's this, 720? Oh. I'll get a phone call. There we go. There's a spin. I finished this model in November of last year. <laughs> <laughs> Disable the lock on this BC cosplay is <laughs> lockpicking lawyer. I I have not watched a bunch of lockpicking lawyer. Uh, I've only ever seen the, um, I've only ever seen the uh, episode where he like wants to get his wife into lockpicking, so he puts but like the Ben and Jerry's. There's like a there's like a lock you can get for like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And he puts that on on the tub of ice cream, and he's like, "This is a great way to to get my my wife invested into the thing that I love, which is lock picking." And she just immediately slices off the bottom of it. She just she it ignores the lock completely, just cuts off the bottom. <laughs> Don't mind me; I'm just dancing a little bit. Um. I, I I called my parents earlier. Oh my gosh. I called called my parents earlier and they were like, I can't talk right now. I'll call you back later. And I was, okay. They know when I stream. They know when I stream. And it's just so funny. I literally hit the go live button and they're like, I'm, I'm trying to call you. <laughs> like, please, I'm working. <laughs> 
Oh, but yeah. Lockpicking lawyers showed people how to unlock a chastity cage with a wrapper of a condom. Like That's a fucking awesome! What? Get my parents on stream. Um... I think my mom would be cool on stream. I think my dad would upstage me. So I, I can't do that. <laughs> your mom's coworker found your stream on their own. You died. <gasps> Scary. Scary. I know for a fact that my parents are talking about what I do online. I've told them what I do online. And they don't, they don't, uh, they honestly were like, Oh, it was so funny. I told them, it was like, oh yeah, me and my friends were like little cryptids on the internet. Um, and like my friend who's from, my friend who's from Washington, Pat, uh, is like, um, is a Bigfoot. And, and I, yeah, it's like really cute. And they were like, oh my gosh, you should be a Jersey devil. I was like, great news. <laughs> great news. That is, in fact, what I am. Thank you for um, and, and not telling me to go to church over it. <laughs> All right, now I have a spin redeem on this. You're going to have to deal with it, Yuzu. <laughs> Sorry if I missed a bunch of messages right now. I'm a little bit um, scattered. They listen to your streams without headphones. You're surprised they're not fired. <laughs> I was, I love, I am like a work and lurk slut. I love it. I love it. Oh! <laughs> you still have the bonk. You still have the bonk redeem. So. Because it's about girls' parents. So these are the chefs that created the base department that occupies the Discord kitten slot. Dude. Trying to explain, oh my god. Bitch. Try <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I love how Yuzu's throwing a tantrum. <laughs> I Explaining the concept of Discord to my parents and also my accountant. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, guys, um, remember when you went to Disney World? Did you ever ride uh, Turtle Talk with Crush? And they're like, yes. <laughs> BZ has an accountant. Yes, I do. I've, oh, I've always had an accountant. Ever since I started making my own money. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fuck with my taxes. Somebody else needs to do that for me. To see a marching band laying on your back in the grocery store candy aisle, kicking all your limbs and wailing. I saw that. I saw that the other day. There was a kid who was screaming that he couldn't have a squishmallow, and the parent was like, "You have so many squishmallows. We're not getting you another squishmallow." And he was losing it. I was like, "Oh my god! I just want milk. <laughs> I just want milk." Oh, um, but yeah, if you guys didn't see on my Twitter, this is where I've gotten so far on this model. Uh, I like looking at it in the physics menu because, oh, bald. Because bald, obviously. No, um, got to put the hair back on. Um, so what we have. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you were waiting to do that. You were waiting. <laughs> you were waiting to do that. Oh my gosh. So 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 cute. I'm very happy with uh with where we are so far on this. And the ears as well. We're working on those. Oh. Put the put the head back on. So we need to do that the right ear, but we've got the left ear. And we got the ups and downs on the ear as well. I really like how the glasses are. I really love when I rig gl glasses to have on the down pose, have them slide down the nose a little bit. It's so cute. So cute. I also did like the one parameter of physics on the glasses. So they'll, they'll bounce a little bit once I have them set up. Cause I think that's it's so good. So good. A really impressive range of motion. Thank you. Thank you. Head turns are really nice. Thank you. I was really worried because I because this is my well, it's technically not my first time doing 
an asymmetrical model. Um, cause technically Snell, the TTS mascot that I did for Big Nose Bug was my first asymmetrical model. Um, but this is like the first, like, like S Snell is not, you know, Snell is great. Snell took me one day to make, you know, <laughs> one day to rig. Um, but yeah, we have these zoomy eyes too. So I like looking at it with this. Because you can really see, like, the dimension on the shine. With the, with that rotation. Like, they're, you can, it's kind of like it's on the outside of the eyeball. It gives them, like, some crazy depth. Ah! <laughs> Big Nose Bug is lovely. Her model is so good. I did not do her model or her rig. That was, um, Ooze God and Slurpee Doo. Those two. Um, I think they might have, Slurpee Doo did the rigging. And I know that her name is. How do I do shout out again? Shout out, shout out Slurpee Do. I fucking love Slurpee's work. If you don't follow Slurpee, you should. Very very cute. Um, <laughs> I love him, but he took one day to make God creating me. Ain't that just the way? Oh, my hair is back. Um, to be like. Snell genuinely took me, I think, like a day's worth of work, but then like figuring out, figuring out the work to get him to move like independently on his own without like control inputs, doing all of that stuff to figure that out. I, it took me like two days because <laughs> I was just like, I know I can figure this out. I just have to figure it out. And then when I did, I made a tutorial so other people could do it because it was, once I found like a smart and easy way to do it, I was like, oh, anybody can do this. And I, and anybody who wants to do it should be able to do it. So you'll notice like Z-Bat just sort of does his own thing in the corner. And that's because it's a really easy thing to do, which is VTube Studio. Um, what was I saying? But Big Nose Bug has an absolutely fantastic model. Love Slurpee's work. Um, love Ooze God's model, uh, like art. Same person who did the model art for Andu, if you're familiar with Andu. Um, just like beautiful graphic style that I'm like, oh, we love a graphic style here. We love it. Um, but yeah, this is the first like asymmetrical model that I had that was like of this complexity. And I'm glad that people are like, wow, like there's a huge amount of range on this. I was like, oh. Because, like, I knew I couldn't really move the head further this way than, than stopping here. Like, I can't push the head any further than this. <laughs> Slurp up Uzgod art. I do, too. I, Uzgod is one of the artists that I'm, like, I'm studying you. Like, I'm, like, I'm, like, looking at you through the little container of the internet. There's a couple little things that I want to do to adjust the art. Like, there's like a little bit of um, like hard lines in the in the where the hair connects that sort of becomes more apparent when you're doing these head turns. And so I just it's same thing with like this ear part right here. So I might just um, go into the art and like blur out the edge here, make that a little bit more. Uh, seamless i uh, yeah seamless i think is the right word because right now it looks it's like oh there is a seam so <laughs> thank you for adding depths to the eyes 11 out of 10 thank you i honestly getting the chance to work on this model i had been like kicking my little legs angrily hoping that i would be able to work on some like juicy anime eyes um, cause like, if you look at my eyes, like I, my, my eyes are anime eyes, but they're sticker eyes. They are like, like nineties anime. They're not the kind of eyes that you give like a crazy amount here, of death to. Vibing. Smoking on that guacamole gamer fart pack. Straight up blowing the Lord's bubbles. That's a guacamole gamer fart pack. <laughs> Yeah, Yuzu can confirm. I've been wanting to do jiggly eyes for so long. 
and and even more than jiggly eyes, just to be able to like take the the shines and give them depth and same thing for like the the pupils and the irises. It it was something that I was so excited to get to do. <laughs> Because I, a lot of people come to me for really, like, toony sort of stuff. And so I don't really have as many opportunities to um, do, like, really detailed eyes and things like that. And I'm like, I know how to do those things, and I want a chance to prove myself. And th there it was. So <laughs> thank you for it. Um, I, sometimes, sometimes you want your eye physics window to look to look like this, where it's just... Sometimes you want the eye physics window to look like this, for fun! You know! <laughs> I'm not joking. I... I... <laughs> Jesus. Oh... <laughs> uh... Could tell you could do the model justice even for could tell you could do the model justice even even from your other work. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I am such a fucking dork. <laughs> Busy, you're so good at reading. It's the reading I'm doing fine. It's the talking that's a problem. I talk too fucking fast. <laughs> it's uh, my mouth likes to go faster than my brain. And listen, it's it's like all streamers. It's all streamers. It's not just me. You can't say you can't say it's just me. You cannot. Uh uh. Mm -mm. No streamer knows how to read. No streamer knows how to read their chat fast enough. Okay? It is all streamers, can't confirm. You don't know how to read, Yuzu. You've misread shit. <laughs> Not necessarily in chat, but on um video game. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yo, huh? Okay, time to make this ear look good. This one I think will be easier than the other one. Cuz it's like that look, that's I didn't even do anything. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody says streamer stinky. Why everybody call their streamer stinky? I like to think streamer smell like um, delicious coconut scent. <laughs> when you were in speech therapy, you described your impediment as the opposite, brain too fast for your mouth, and everything comes out as tongue twisters. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lately, honestly, I've been, like, I, I usually don't... I, I've never been somebody who, like, has worn perfume or anything like that. Like, for, like, a little bit of time, I, I wore perfume, and... Only recently, I don't know what it was, but I was like, hmm, I want to smell like coconut. I want to get like a fun little coconut scent and, and, and like have like a nice smell. <laughs> Setting your toe redeem to one sub. <gasps> what do you mean toe redeem? <laughs> What do you mean, Toe Redeem? Also, that TwitchCon, the TwitchCon icon for Vegas is kind of slay. Hmm. Spend 300 plus dollars to go get the slay TwitchCon icon, perhaps? Maybe? Mm, it's, it's slay. I like slay! it. Slay! <laughs> slay! <laughs> I would be there. I would be there if it wasn't so fucking expensive. I... Ugh. I want to go. It's like a, like a, for me, it's like, oh, next year, next year, next year. And then watch, like, next year, it'll oh, be in, like, New slay, York. bestie, totally worth it, girl, like, yes, essie, 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 essie,
Yes, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, <laughs> Twitch Vegas icon. Yeah, look at Mickey's little, little, uh, badge there. <laughs> I wonder if Germa will be there. I think Germa will be. Germa lives in Vegas, right? <laughs> Only going because your friend and you got an incredible deal on lodging. That's the thing that scares me. It's like, there's no fucking way I'd find good lodging. It's for the weekend. You can go to Vegas for cheap on a weekday, but because it's like a weekend thing. I mean, there's so many hotels that you can probably get somewhere really cheap, but. <laughs> Sparta really out here calling you small. Small. <laughs> Germa lives in Vegas, unironically. I think. As as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm I'm I know about the Germa lore, a chibi model is accurate height. Oh my gosh, I've been thinking a lot about um dolls. It's like a like a bucket list dream of mine to to make little little figurines. Um. Uh, that like are just like custom. I just I'm a really big doll person, so I really want to make little dolls. And I've been like, okay, if BZ was a doll, how many inches tall would would BZ be? And <laughs> you're gonna hunt Germa for sport? I'm surprised that Twitch let you say that. <laughs> it feels like it feels like that would be like a specific thing that they wouldn't let you say. Little BZ custom doll would be so cute. I know. I know. I'm I want it. I want it so bad. I want to put fuzzy little flocking on it. Oh. Oh. Nevada is a concealed carry state. It should be easy to see on him. Don't say shit like that. FBI is going to come after you. FBI is going to come get you and you're going to end up like those Mexican aliens that that they just found. Not like people, like, not like illegal immigrants, aliens, like the actual, like, like the Mexican government was just like, we have aliens. They're very funny looking. They lo literally look like E.T. This, look, it's E.T. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Anytime that people are like, we have an alien, and it's just like a little gray E.T. looking motherfucker, I'm like, no. No. That's not real. <laughs> that's the Men in Black alien! I want to watch Men in Black again. I want to watch that. That movie's gross. Bro, hit the Zaza too hard! <laughs> Literally a weird rock. <laughs> Oh, I'm just, <laughs> just thinking of, it's paper mache. Honestly, that was some art. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good art. I just keep thinking about playing that Universal Studios adventure game over the weekend and how in the E.T. game, the kid just kept eating shit and falling on the ground. <laughs> just the bike kept keeping tipping over. <laughs> Looks like Clay, like Daydara made it. Oh my god. Don't say his name. Don't don't speak his name. Stop, not the bike game. The bike game was one of the better games in that. The other ones. Ooh, the other ones made me so mad. Ooh. We'll just we'll just hide this further back here. I feel like we could move it further back. Do ya do up do yeah yeah do ba do up do ya do up 
is Daydara being censored 1994? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, I think you can do exclamation point followage. Yuzu, how did you do that? Oh, I'm not following myself! Stream cancelled, I'm out of here. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. I, I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't look like a valid username? What do you mean? Stream elements. Okay, whatever. Apparently Yuzu has access to the secret knowledge, so I'll just use that. We can rely on that data. Oh, hi, oh, Shrek. Yeah. Oh, it did work for some people. Okay. Two years, one month, 28 days. Holy shit. RGB Gamer, you're one of the real ones. You remember, you remember when I looked like, when I, when I was not looking like this, when I was my old model, when I looked like, um, where is it? Hold on. Hold on. Getting changed. I'm getting changed. Um, you remember what I looked like this? Possibly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Put that curtain away. I need this curtain to go away. There we go. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yuzu just waiting for the opportunity, chomping at the bit for it. <laughs> you followed for a year and then accidentally unfollowed, so you won't show that? Oh my gosh. I, I've seen that happen to people where they've gotten timed out as well for, for something funny, and then that, like, bans them and that ruins the streak. Small me? You too? Oh my god. Well, for longtime fans of this model, you might be seeing something a little bit closer to to this style, to this sort of thing. <laughs> uh, in the um, not near future, but <laughs> there are there are plans in the works for something that's sort of a blend between the two. But first, I need to uh, finish making all of the different outfits for my anime model because i've already got like four outfits started on my anime model and i don't want that work to go to waste so in case you guys were wondering ha huh, busy you've, you've been using that anime model for a while now and you've been talking about 3.0 for like a while now and i'm like well <laughs> listen i was supposed to have a swimsuit debut in the summer but then i sprained my ankle and i couldn't draw comfortably so we're going to do a, a swimsuit design in the next couple of months. And then I have that noir outfit from last year. Did I ever play Isaac Binding Rebirth? I think so. I mean, I played it a long time ago. I haven't played it in a while. Um, Isaac is definitely something that goes back and forth for me. <laughs> um, but we're like the kind of besties that we don't need to see each other for three years and then we meet up again and we're doing great. Anyways, um, I also have this bottle. Hold on. Hey, would you get changed? I do get changed. You, you saw, oh! <laughs> Sharkmantha is here. 
Um, <laughs> this is, uh, I guess I was playing Dave the Diver last I was wearing all of this. Do a swimsuit on this model? That would be so slay. Anybody have, like, a good, um, like, bikini PNG? Speed. Oh, fuck me! Speed. It's not immediate, I have to set it up! Ow! <laughs> uh. You know what I have to say about that, Yuzu? That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> Getting the last of it out of your system. Um, bi bikini PNG. Here we go. This is a PNG. You better not be a web P. Here we go. <laughs> You can't even fucking see it because it's red. <laughs> is this is this what the kids call slay? Is this slay? <laughs> slay! Slay! Here's Shark Mantha. <laughs> I give her a kissy. <laughs> You guys are supposed to help me keep focused. I have ADHD. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay because um the corners are so scary. The corners are so scary. Um what do I want? What do I want to <laughs> My pussy isn't drooping enough to fit those panties. Hey, <laughs> I'm sensitive about that. <laughs> That's what I'm sensitive about. <laughs> oh, um, I guess I could show, I could show the swimsuit um model for my other model. I'm too lazy to get the curtain back out. Shark Mantha is still here. Hi. This is this is the old swimsuit outfit. It's like the oldest model that I have available to me. Shark Mantha is now attached to this model. Um, how do I my glasses? There we go. This is my this is my earliest swimsuit model and my my uh anime version is is very similar it's just like updated but like a lot of the elements are the same so we got the sandals we got this cute little towel in place of my skirt we have the uh this like sheer mesh look i love it we have the puka shell necklace the bitchy little eyeglasses the hibiscus all of those elements return and more and i've worked on it on stream before so some of you have seen it but I, I can't mess with this model because the the mouth is so old. I can't I can't look at it anymore. We'll do <laughs> Don't listen to them, Queen. Your pussy is drooping beautifully. Thank you, Yuzu. Thank you. Oh fuck. My mouth. My mouth, hold on. I had V Bridger. I'm not using V Bridger right now. Hold the hold the phone. My jaw. Okay, I'm normal now. <laughs> I, had a, I had a little bit of a case of lockjaw there. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> but yeah, you just got a beloved little tour of my different models. This one is my, my pride-themed one. Because it has the pansexual pride colors on it. So my, my pink little jacket... And my pink little hair, my yellow shirt, and my uh my my blue blue shorts, and then of course the plat the platform Crocs, Slay! Pla platform Crocs with the little rainbow on it, and my friends, hee 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 hee, 
and get him to swap our places. <laughs> the $900 pink Balenciaga platform Crocs, of course. Uh, are those the... Yeah. They are. <laughs> All right. Let's get this ear into place. Focus mode. Focus, people. Focus. Oh, this doesn't have to move very much at all. Like, it definitely has to move a little bit, but... With no problem. Make a deal with God. And get him to swap our places. You're running up that road. You're running up Hello that there. hill. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. No problem. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, darling. Okay, I think we can get this to move in a little bit more oh anytime that i remember that this song just like exists even as a metal cover or not i'm like oh 2000 and late i should be added to fortnite based on just outfits alone that would be so slay i don't even play fortnite <laughs> i don't even play fortnite Part of the re like part of me being excited about my 3.0 model and just being excited about the future is that for my 3.0 model, I'm definitely going for a rendering style that will allow me to play dress up more easily. <laughs> I wanna play dress up. <laughs> How much does it cost to get a VTuber built from scratch? I mean, for me, from me, it de depends on a lot of factors. I do work with a lot of people with very interesting um, models, but it is sort of like, for me, if you want like a full body, uh, fully rigged bells and whistles, similar to what I did for Lux, that's like $3,000 value. Just because it takes multiple, multiple months of work and then, like, factoring in taxes and things like that. Oh, we live in such an expensive world, but... It's basically, like, the same thing as making a fursuit at the end of the day. The, the level of, like, effort and care that goes into these models and just sort of, like, expertise as well. Oh, fuck me! I didn't key any of that. I was like, hmm, it's not working. Dang girl, you got loud bones. <laughs> Let's Maze with the that. motion uh, of range with this model. You're really good. Thank you. That's so that's so fucking sweet. Y'all are so fucking sweet to me. I I honestly like I don't even know I don't know how to deal with it. I'm gonna stretch is what I'm gonna do. Thank you for reminding me to to stretch because my wrist genuinely has been acting up. I've been doing what's called the Superman stretch. I learned it from a different streamer, FF Sade. Your wooder. You put your arms out in front of you, like you're Superman. You make little fists, and then you turn, and then you turn your wrists down, so they're pointing down. You're stretching that like top part of your, that top muscle of your wrist, and it feels so fucking good. 3K is almost like a full back tattoo before colors. That's a good that's a good way to think about it, honestly. 
Because I never really thought about just, like, the expensive tattoos. Tattoos are fucking expensive. I want one. Nice dog message. Okay, I, I, I stretch my wrists in a really nice way. Time to, like, make loud bone noises. If you don't like loud bo bone noises, uh, avert your ears for a moment. I don't even know if they get picked up on my mic at all anymore. Oh, my bones. Oh, my God. I needed to stretch. I really did. I don't think I really stretched today other than my wrists. Oh, my bones. <laughs> okay. You can bring your ears back. Um, I'm, I'm better now. I'm, like, looking at this, and I'm like, ah, oh, I fucked it up. Ah. Uh... Okay, I think it's, I think if I just put it here, it'll be normal. Right? I don't know. How far back do I need to go to make it normal? Because I, it happened here, didn't it? Not an empty compliment. Do enjoy watching rigging streams. You've never seen a head turn like this. Thank you. Thank you. Genuinely. That's really sweet. <laughs> There's something very interesting about um rigging for commission compared to like I'm familiar with uh like art as like a like a corporate like the entertainment industry and it's very different being in a setting where people go to like art directors and they get feedback like i have a very professional world view of of professional art um and when people get their work done they like show it to their art director and the art director gives them some feedback and you know it's just like they then they go back to their desk and and they're it's never like the art directors are mean though some art directors are mean but it's like you're like you show it to somebody and they say okay make all of these changes and it's just it's just people saying like yeah, you know just okay here here's what i did pick your favorite what do you want me to change and then they just like keep the train keeps moving and commissions and doing like art online on the internet is so different because People are like people are like hype men. I <laughs> I like it a lot more. I don't it's really sweet and it's just kind of funny because I feel like I never know how to properly react except for like to like put my hands in my face and go hee hee. -hee. Like, <laughs> oh they like my art. Hee -hee. <laughs> um so like it's it's really really sweet and I do prefer it. I think that uh more industries could could like enjoy that more, you know? I don't know, just uh think about like if you were working on Scooby Doo, right? And then you're you showed it to like the director and the director was like, "Fuck! I fucking love that drawing of Scooby Doo that you did." That's awesome! <laughs> like <laughs> Scooby looks so fucking good there. <laughs> you know? But like it, it's so commonplace in, in commissions that it's like some people they they send their commissions out and they get worried when the person that's commissioning them isn't like so crazy hype about it <laughs> they're like oh no they hate it <laughs> it's not not necessarily the the case like the best thing that you can hear in a professional art space at, for feedback is is just no notes that is like when when you send something to an art director and they say no notes it's like oh yeah <laughs> It's the complete opposite. 
You go to the director and they're like, I'm gonna eat this storyboard, I'm gonna put it in a sandwich and devour it. Yes. I did have an art teacher at one point who said that, um, I don't think he was the one who said it. He was like a, a guy that he worked with. Um, would use the, the phrasing like, if something was really good, he, he said it would, it looks like you could pee there. Like, it was specifically talking about background art, and if people made really good background art, it looked like you could walk into the, into the art and then pee in the corner. And I, <laughs> I don't know. Artists are fucking weird. Artists are fucking weird, but I, I get it. I get it. So now when I see a really good thing of background art, I'm like, hmm, I could piss there. <laughs> I, could, I could piss there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why not. Like, hey, it looks like I could be standing there is, is kind of the nicer way to say it. But <laughs> I like it. I'm going to see. Hi, Muchi. <laughs> Welcome on in. We're talking about pissing on people's background art. <laughs> Going to my local dive bar, pissing in the corner since it's a perfect background piece. Woo! <laughs> what is this song again? Oh, this is Crazy Frog. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I, I fucking love art. How's my wrist? It's doing pretty good. I've been very, very careful about it. Um, and I've been stretching it quite a bit. And also, one thing that became very convenient is that because I sprained my ankle, I had a compression bandage that I've been uh, wrapping around my wrist so I can sleep at night with it on it. So it doesn't really hurt too much during the day unless I'm working for a lot of hours. Um... And like not stretching. But ibuprofen is really helpful. Um, because even if it's just to stop the like inflammation, it'll really help. And I've been doing stretches and making sure that I don't sleep on it weird. Because I, I tend to sleep like a real fucking weirdo and I hurt my wrists <laughs> just by sleeping on them. So I have to pay. Oh, ain't it? <laughs> let's take ibuprofen together. Highly recommend taking ibuprofen. If you have wrist issues, if you have, I don't know, period cramps, if you have any sort of issue like that, I don't know what it is about the human condition that people would be like, no, I can, I can, you know, I can get through it myself. I don't need medication to help. It's gonna, it's gonna help you heal better if you take the ibuprofen. Like, it's, you're gonna get, you know, like, reducing the inflammation is, is part of helping you heal. <laughs> Taking ibuprofen together as a first date idea. Let's see the hat man together. <gasps> that Benadryl baby. Woo! <laughs> Think about how the person who came up with the medicine would be sad that you weren't taking it and then you take it. Yes. Yes. There are some medications that you do have to be a little bit careful to, like, taking the medication a lot will make you more dependent on it. I'm looking directly at Tums. I am looking directly at Tums and antacids. Sometimes if you take too many antacids and be you can definitely become reliant on them and that's not fun. <laughs> Tums is, it's not addictive. It's not addictive. It's just like, 
Because you're you're not like becoming addicted to eating little discs of chalk. It's just that if you take Tums a lot, you can get more heartburn symptoms because your body will get used to not making the thing to stop it itself. They're big ass smarties. They are really are. Had a high school friend that would eat them as snacks. <laughs> Me and the Flintstone gummies. <laughs> why? I mean, I, I, I was about to say, why don't they make like Flintstone gummy edibles? And then I, that question was immediately answered by myself mentally. Um, because you can't do Flintstones is proprietary and you don't want children eating that. But they they should make them into cuter shapes than just little squares, is what I want to say. Tums makes your gut biome into liberal snowflakes. <laughs> yeah, my, my tummy ecosystem is very easily disrupted. <laughs> I can't eat McDonald's. I had McDonald's over the weekend. It was a mistake. Antacids lower the acids that kill harmful bacteria so you could get really bad problems from that. Everybody's a lot smarter than me. Thank you so much for backing me up. <laughs> okay, uh, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Back to work. Mordecai and Rigby. Mordecai and Rigby, get back to work or you're fired. But I also, it's so interesting. I love people hyping me up because I don't even, I don't even always realize when I'm like cracked, if that makes sense. Like I, I'm so much like in my own little world when I'm making rigs in particular. When I make art, I can tell when the art is good. When I make good rigs, I I just kind of go on autopilot. And so when people remind me, they're like, BZ, your work is so fucking good. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Shows you stuff and you go, bitch. I mean, okay, to be fair, the, the doll box, the doll box 100% was something that I, I was like, oh, I'm insane for doing this. <laughs> I love art. I don't know. I've been really excited about making art. I've been drawing more recently. I've been drawing and I've been writing and I've just been like the happiest I've been in a really long time. <laughs> you learned something today? Wait, I might have missed what you said. <laughs> My chat is moving faster than I'm used to. Oh, I, this is going the wrong way. It should be going this way. But this could be going out this way. It really it should be set up like this. I've been forgotten, I've been so good that you found the outlet for creativity. I yeah. My only one problem is that I love mixed media. I love different things about um Oh, you learned about the Tums. Yes. Now you know. But definitely, like, if you feel like you're going to throw up, take Tums. Take Tums. Like, it's, you know, just, just be aware that it does, your, your, your stomach biome is sensitive. Um, my rule of thumb is if the thought of eating Tums makes me feel ill, I need to take them. <laughs> uh, does anybody else do that? Because that's, that's how I am. Next time you'll take Tom's before you show me your whips. Yeah, I show Yuzu my works in progress. And Yuzu will be like, I'm throwing up. <laughs> and I'm like, hee hee hee. <laughs> sex bomb, you're a sex bomb. Baby, you can turn me out. Look like I know <gasps> what a JP is. I just want to put you in Crunchy. Crunchy. Oh. 
Thank you for the crunch, Buckhead. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lonely blues. What type of dog is this? <laughs> what type of dog is this? Hmm. The elusive Neko. <laughs> <laughs> palette swap oh fuck I don't have a palette swap on this model oh oh that's a that's definitely a palette swap <laughs> oh you guys get to see the color swapped um the color swapped troll sona iPad Troll iPad. <laughs> yeah, this counts as this is a palette swap for sure. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen her. I tell you what, I think most of the people that follow me on YouTube are homestucks. I think I'm I'm pretty certain in that. Hmm. I don't like I don't like this. I'm going to redo it. It's the season? It's Halloweeny. It's um well, uh, is it Carcat's birthday that's in uh October or is it November? It's always it's always Sharpie Bat season. I got that Sharpie Bat up on speed dial. Oh, it would be so messed up to like have the redeem for this go off with um I just get like dunked in like sharpie water <laughs> or you know maybe like a sharpie dragging across the screen with a little squeaky oh <laughs> I love when people see this model and they comment they're like the sharpie smell is strong <laughs> and I'm like hee hee <laughs> that's the sharpie noise or maybe it's also a dolphin noise i don't know one of the two. Oh, speaking of dolphin noises but also not really speaking of dolphin noises this is how my adhd brain works i just watched um star trek the star trek uh motion picture wrath of khan and search for Spock. And I'm now getting to the point that I get to watch my favorite Star Trek movie, which is like the first thing of Star Trek that I've ever seen in my life, which is the uh, was the Voyage Home, I believe is the name of it. And they call it the Whale Movie. And that's why that's how I got there, is because um, there are whales in it and they make whale noises. And I fucking love that movie. If you watch anything Star Trek, you should watch that movie, because I love it. Because <laughs> uh, Spock jumps into uh, the tank at basically SeaWorld and swims with whales. <laughs> dolphin, dolphin noises make you think of Bob Leponge, Spugna Roberto Quadrati Pantaloni. Sponge? There was a point in time where the alleyway that was outside of my house, somebody had like left a uh, like a sponge. I don't know if somebody left it. Maybe it fell out of a garbage truck or something like that. But for like a week or so, there was just like a like a dried up sponge on the concrete. And every time I walked by, I go, "Ooh, SpongeBob, <laughs> sponge!" I was always so sad. Literally, how do I jump from topics like this? I, my brain? I don't, I don't, why am I, huh? <laughs> that looks, that looks pretty nice. I'm gonna mess with the, fluff a little bit on that pose 
them their souls to the world. <laughs> Find a way to connect things how it is with me. Yeah. Me and Yuzu are like our our brains are like same wavelength. Like Yuzu will think of something completely unrelated and I'll be like, "Oh no, like I can understand 100% how you got there." Because you thought of this thing and it's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> Love how I did the ear when the head is turning. Thank you. I am a little bit worried about keeping this like good head turn with physics. There's a lot of physics that I want to add to the to the ear when I get around to it. And that's going to be um like I want the I want the ears to be able to like fold down in like a cute way, you know? Where it's like, oh, little airplane ears. You know, kitties do their little airplane ears. Airplane ears. <laughs> you know, airplane ears. <laughs> I want to be able to do that, but um, I'm worried that the... Uh, the different like deformers might conflict with each other. I'll get it to work, but it was something that was a little bit complicated on uh Lita's creature model. But this, I think this ear, these ears, they don't have a lot of parts, but there were more parts than there were on Lita's model. So, <laughs> BC and I are the same kind of unwell. That's why we get along so well. We're crazy! <laughs> Insane! <laughs> Asylum! <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> okay, so we have... That looks nice. I like that. Oh, we... I forgot I was going to adjust the fluff. Um, it would be out more, right? Sending out an SOS. Sending out an SOS. Sending out an SOS. Sending out an SOS. Ears are so cute. All oh, the fluff. Yes, the ears. I think the ears are right behind the eye physics in terms of like sheer number. No, they're not so bad on here. I feel I have a feeling it's gonna get more crazy once I get into it, though. Oh, the hair, of course. But it's the hair. The hair has a lot of a lot of things. I have a lot under no. No, it seems pretty. It seems like it it works pretty well with all of the. Yeah, it's just the eyes that is insane. <laughs> Looking through all of my stuff that I have organized, I'm saving. I saved my file. I was like, oops, I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> um. Oh yes, we were doing the Y angle. Mm -hmm. Let's see, head X, Y. I'm gonna take all of these so I don't forget to set them. Bottom. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh, bottom? That's my favorite character in A uh, Midsummer save. Night's Dream. Oh, God. <laughs> save. God, please. Save. Save. I'll save. I'll save. 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 You, you guys talking about this guy? You guys talking about this guy right here? Shakespeare's uh, legendary furry? <laughs> You're too cute. Thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my god. I'm <laughs> if, Oh, there's some like really cute oh, art in yeah. here. If you search uh I guess I could just show the show the class. <laughs> Well done. 
donkey. <laughs> Drink your water. Shrek got covered up. That's so sad. Thank you, everybody, for taking care of me. Um, I love that there's a character in a, a regularly performed Shakespeare play who just, like, has a big donkey head. Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> That'll do, donkey. All right, I can't, I can't scroll too much on this. That's, it's Google Images. That's too scary. Shakespeare's original fursona. Oh, some of these are really scary. <gasps> That's scary. Oh, he's scary. Oh. Ah! <laughs> ah, that's scary. Eek. What's everybody what's everybody's favorite Shakespeare? What's everybody's favorite Shakespeare? Tell the class. Mine mine is a Midsummer Night's Dream, so You can say you can say none of them. It's okay. <laughs> the older I get, the more I turn into like a grandma and I'm like, ooh, I love Sudoku puzzle. I love Sudoku puzzle. I love the daily crossword. I love um, uh, a mobile game. <laughs> Only read Macbeth, but you liked it. The one with the raven. <laughs> the one who the, the one who says quoth the raven nevermore. Are you talking about that one? Because that's that's Poe. That's Poe, baby. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Julianette? J Romeo and Juliet, Leonardo DiCaprio version. I want to see that one so bad. I have not seen it in a long time. <gasps> Correct answer is Nomeo and Juliet. Just saying. That's the That's the correct answer. <laughs> thank <laughs> thank gnome it's friday it's not friday thank gnome it's friday correct answer is warm bodies correct answer is the lion king i also i love uh rosencrantz and gildenstern are dead i love rosencrantz and gildenstern are dead i love the story of hamlet told from the perspective of two just two fucking guys who are like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead, um, it's Lion King one and a half. <laughs> Which is also awesome. The Tempest? The Tempest is good. Um, what's it much ado about nothing? <gasps> oh my god. Much Ado About Nothing, a.k.a. Uh, ten, is it 10 Things I Hate About You? They need to do more Shakespeare adaptations in modern day. BRB we Bottom. <laughs> BRB Bottom. <laughs> Cask of Amontillado is so fucking good. <laughs> oh, I've got, a, I've got like a first edition copy of that in my, in my cellar. You want to come see it, Yuzu? <laughs> You you want to come see? I love Edgar Allan Poe though. I think Edgar Allan Poe is like Shakespeare light. Like if you want to get into some stuff that has had like a huge impact on writing today, but not read so many fucking plays. Uh, I think Poe is a good thing to get into. That's me. Whoa! <laughs> As you like it, saw them both at Shakespeare in the park and you genuinely laughed. Shakespeare is fucking funny. The reason that I say that Midsummer Night's Dream is my favorite Shakespeare is because it's the one that made me realize that that it's not like hoity-toity. 
Like Shakespeare is um a feat. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Look at these little toes. Look at that. That's so cute. Um I love all the people coming into chat today who are just like playing around with the different redeems that never get used because they're like, what does this do? <laughs> but Midsummer Night's Dream was the one that made me realize that Shakespeare's like intended to be funny. It's not supposed to be this like dry thing that's only consumed by intellectuals. <laughs> you Yuzu does work hard using those redeems. It's true. Um but you know what they do. You know what they do is the Bogos difference. Binted? My bogos? What? My bogos. Um but yeah, there's a there's a scene in particular. I don't remember w which character is particular, but the the two two of the women in a Midsummer Night's Dream, they're like arguing with each other and one of them calls the other one short. <laughs> in like slight Shakespeare language, she calls the other girl, the other woman short. And the other woman responds to say, I'm not so short that I can't claw your eyes out. And I'm like, oh, the girlies are fighting. Oh my God. <laughs> the girlies, <laughs> the girlies are fighting. And that was when it like clicked for me. I was like, oh no, this is kind of awesome. <laughs> this message is highlighted. Now you knew what that one did. <laughs> um, but I'm also like, I'm like media literate to the point of being like fucking annoying. Cause I'll go and watch a movie like Elemental. Uh, you know, uh, is it Disney? Is it Disney or Pixar? I don't remember if it's Disney or Disney Pixar. Elemental came out and I went and I watched it and I was sitting there in the theater and I went, oh, oh, would you look at that? It's a Shakespeare comedy. And they're like, what the fuck do you mean it's a Shakespeare comedy? I'm like, I, it means that like everybody's in a cute little couple. Like, they get married at the end. They don't get married, but everybody's a cute little couple and everybody's happy. You want to watch it? It's, it's cute. It's a um it's definitely a romantic comedy, which I feel like is a genre that has kind of been like disrespected and ignored over the years. Um and it's good. It's just uh I don't know. It's, it's a mixed bag, but I do think that romantic comedies definitely have a place in in modern media that have been they've been left out. Wild how much media to this day is still a directive, direct derivative of Shakespeare. 100%. 100%. It's, it's wild. Like, this guy didn't fucking know what he was doing. And even then, it's like, you know... It's not... It doesn't always make sense, but you can always... You know, the, it's it's just like basic concepts and themes, you know? Lion King is Hamlet, yes. He was doing it well. He really fucking did it. If you have a um a subscription to Dropout TV, there are some like um what is a was it Game Changer? There was like a Game Changer where they brought on this uh improvising Shakespeare troupe. And I fucking love those guys. They are so funny. And it's just like some of the coolest shit I've ever seen. People who are able to improv in iambic pentameter. Oh my god. A game most changed. That's what they called it. It was so fucking good. It was so good. The Try Guys rendition of Romeo and Juliet. Holy shit, I had no idea that was a thing that existed. Do you know do you do you know what else? Do you know what else is Shakespeare? Do you know what kind of tangentially tangentially a little bit? Yuzu, do you know what also is Shakespeare that I'm about to say? I'll let I'll let you I'll see if Yuzu knows what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> what else is a Midsummer Night's Dream specifically that I love?
Homestuck. That's right. No, <laughs> no it is strange magic. <laughs> We love strange magic in this house. Ooh. <laughs> it was so funny when when they announced strange magic. I remember when they announced it and I was like, "Oh, how exciting." Like uh they were like, "It's inspired by a Midsummer Night's Dream and directed by George Lucas." I was like, "Oh, that sounds awesome." That sounds right up my alley. Homestuck is Shakespeare too, though. Honestly, I can't argue that it's not. It's it's either Shakespearean or Sisyphean. One of the two. All right, I think got to bring this down this way. And maybe rotate it a little bit more. Every time I, guess I directly call you out in chat, you get scared. I'm gonna play Carcobell dance until you can think of his homestuck. <laughs> no, I'll spare you today. We've got too many new people. Too many new people. I'll scare them all away. I can't play Carcobell dancing. Unless, like, somebody drops, like, five gift subs or something to listen to it. I will spare you all. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> Do the dance, though. <laughs> Carcolicious death. Carcolicious death. Oh! <laughs> I might move this hair side piece a little bit over. So it's a little bit more natural looking. I think I want to adjust this bang piece in a little bit more over here. Just all these little touches for everything to come together. Downtown, walking fast, faces passing, I'm homebound. Turn blankly ahead, making my way, making my way through the crowd. What playlist is this from, by the way? It is a personal playlist. <laughs> it's just, it's all me, baby. It's a, I started making a metal cover playlist and I just kept adding suggested stuff to it. Um, and now there's almost 200 songs on it. <laughs> but this song, this version is particularly, uh, this is uh, Tethra, T-E-T-H-R-A. And it's their version of about a thousand miles. <laughs> BZ's special mix, normal version. <laughs> Opposed to BZ's special playlist, not normal version. <laughs> Don't belong living in your bed. Oh, my face stopped. I can't I can't unsee the white chicks when I hear this song too. But to me, that's a positive thing. And I'm just like, oh, another time. <laughs> time won't pass me by. 
BC Special Mix Not Normal version plays in your nightmares? What, you don't like listening to the Strange Magic soundtrack and Smallfoot and um, the villain song from Home on the Range? <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, I just. Okay, so we did the ears. I've been your memory. I, I don't want to let this go. I, I don't. Could fall into the sky. Do you think time pass us by? You know I'd walk a thousand miles just seeing you. Into the sky, you think time would pass me by. You know I'd walk seeing you. Actually, it make more sense to go up, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, it's, you know, my, my not normal playlist is, is, is my special, like, my place that I turn to when nothing else sounds good to my brain. It's like, um, it's like having ginger to, like, reset your palate. <laughs> it's overpowering. And it's very silly. Just put on Seabat? I, I mean, Seabat is on this playlist. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the, the order of the songs. Because then I'll get repeats and that I don't want repeats. Not today. Hmm. Oh, I guess I can just like click on it and add to queue. Um, where are it? Where is it? Don't believe me. Just watch. Oh, wait a minute. Did they take it down? Where is my, where is my sea bat? Where is my sea bat? Where did it go? I guess I'll just search for it. There it is. Uh, add to queue. Sea bat gone. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Next in queue. There you go. After we after we finish Uptown Funk, okay. And the May Gorals. Gorals! I need to stretch my wrist. Playlist ranges from SpongeBob to System of a Down. So yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> Bob Lepage. It's the best day ever. SpongeBob's awesome though. SpongeBob SpongeBob rocks. He's just a he's just like a guy. All right, stretching my wrist. I, it looks like I'm doing absolutely nothing, but I'm. <laughs> I must stretch. 
Forever love the marching band episode? Yes. Just the other day, um, I was talking about, um, it was just yesterday, I was in Jules' stream, and I suggested that Jules take some ibuprofen, and Jules was like, what What part of that in Spongebob where Squidward or Squilliam or something says something about ibuprofen? And I'm like, that's that's locked away in my brain, too. If that's the that's the thing. There's Squillian's like, I hope they bring lots of ibuprofen. <laughs> I didn't know what ibuprofen was as a child at all. I, the way he says it is funny enough. Okay, that looks cute. I'm like, I wanted the the posing of the ears to look cute. There's like a there's a mix here rigging this model of creating a lot of dimension while also trying to keep like an appealing shape to the face and to the ears. Yeah. Here you go. Here's Seabat. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Okay. One thing I just remembered that I need to do is um this mouth. I didn't do the inside of the mouth for dimension yet, so I want to do that. That's so cute though. Look at that. But it's like, I need to get the, like, where the teeth and stuff in here doesn't make sense from this angle at all. I need to do stuff with that. Um, let's see. What do we, what do I want to start with? I want to start with saving. Love how the back of the hair is when the head turns. Thank you. I like that too. It's, um, where is it? This piece right here. It's all just one piece, so it's it's just a little bit of a cheat moving the, this part this way and then the other way as well, just shifting it that way. <laughs> she looks like an expensive figurine. <laughs> one piece, yes. <laughs> I'm a wizard. <laughs> Drank the blood of some people. <laughs> the people were on drugs. Now I'm a wizard. <laughs> One piece mentioned. I... I've been thinking more and more about watching it. <laughs> Her name is Busy. Busy. <laughs> Yuzu, thank you so much for standing up for me when I don't even realize that I am um that I, I am I am being misnamed. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the word for it. I'm not being dead named, but <laughs> Ooh, you wanna watch One Piece? No, I wanna see what Chopper ends up looking like in live action. That's what I want. That's what I really want at the end of the day. Whoop! Whoop! Oh, that's what the song is. I was like, what is this song? Every time this song starts up, I'm like, what the fuck? Where... Where is my mind? Inner mouth. Okay, we'll do a head X, Y for this. Would love Chopper humanized sort of like Sweet Tooth? I don't know about Sweet Tooth, but I think a humanized Chopper would be really cute. I 
honestly think that you could get away with like a a good CGI version of him, but it, it would have to be good. It could be bad, you know. Think Chopper should be a human child in a fuzzy jacket with like a little little antlers. That would be pretty cute. Um, I'm like, should I focus on the top teeth or the bottom teeth now? I guess the top teeth. I'll work out. Holy CG Chopper sounds like Detective Pikachu to you. The price of it would mean less screen time. You're right. You're so right. And Chopper is... They'd have to... But, like, the problem is when you hire a child, the child gets old. <laughs> Children get older. <laughs> and One Piece is, uh, is really long. <laughs> so, how do you how do you do that? You know? I think I think the best thing that you could do would genuinely be um puppet. You're right you forgot children get old and children also hit puberty and actually like it's a huge issue and like when you're making movies in the entertainment industry is like if you hire child actors for voices, they hit puberty and their voices change and it makes it really difficult to record. <laughs> Because there's like not enough consistency with like the with like voice changing. Um, I want to. I think I just want to do the these separately, like the upper teeth and the bottom teeth separately. So, um, inner mouth, jaw, head, X, Y. Practical effects chopper would be nice. I would agree. I would agree. We love practical effects. In this house, we love practical effects. They had some really cool puppets in the um the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Honor Among Thieves. I've talked about it on stream when that movie came out. I it's such a treat to watch a movie that has puppets. It's so fun. The only problem with this is the mouth does not always cover up what needs to be covered up. What is, is this not, oh, it's on the head skin and oh. Fuck, okay. Let me just, let me just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> just cover that up, thank you. You're the one that I want. Oh yes indeed. Considering he does change forms, could have a CG or puppet round chopper and a humanized version with makeup they can change as much as they please. It would be so fucking cool though if they were both puppets and you had like a little puppet. You had like a little guy puppet. 
and then you had like a guy in like a big guy in a suit kind of puppet. Or oh, you know what'd be so fucking cool? They could do stop mo. Stop motion? <gasps> what a concept. I ooh. Stop mo chopper would be so good. If you get like the if you get like the fabric on it, I'm just like thinking of him in like a Leica style. That would be so cute. And I'm like, ooh! <laughs> He does change, yeah, unless they manage to create a stinking cute puppet with a lot of screen time. That's the thing, like, if you make a puppet, you can use that puppet as much as you want. And it's like, you you build it, you have it, you don't have to reanimate it or anything like that. That's kind of the benefit of doing VTubing compared to, like, animation, is that once you have this sort of thing built, you can do so much with it that doesn't require, like, so many more additional hours of animation. It is it is significantly less like production effort once you have your thing built. Chopper is very expressive. That is true. You you could make a very expressive puppet, but also yeah, like if you wanted to get some really exaggerated stuff out of it. I've not seen actual one piece live action i don't know how expressive because like it's not just that chopper is very expressive everybody in one piece is expressive like that's like that's like the style of it very yeah yeah Is like, is it really One Piece if if Luffy doesn't do like a huge like crazy jaw expression, you know? But I'm I'm at least happy to see that people like it, you know. Because I'm so used to live action adaptations being like not worth the expense. Zoro sexy. <laughs> I'm just I'm just a little I'm scared though. Not about One Piece, but I'm I'm scared, guys. I feel like we're just like rounding the corner on um the stuff that we're going to start seeing because of how long the writers and the actors have been on strike. I I feel like oh, it's it's, it's starting to happen. Uh, I saw a thing the other day where Disney was making, like, a Toy Story, Toy Story-ified version of a football game. Why? <laughs> like, they're, like, recreating a football game in animation? Um... Okay. <laughs> Honestly, a little bit excited to see when all the bad seasons come out. Uh, yeah, it's it's equal parts like this is going to be funny, but also it's going to be wow. It's they've been on strike for cuz when when the seasons got bad in like 2008 when the with the original writer strike, they were on strike for 100 days and the actors weren't on strike. It was just the writers. And so it just has me me ask the question of like, what are we go what are we getting ourselves in for? Literally like nothing can move if you don't have people who act 
and talk and voice act. Like, it's like, what is going to happen? <laughs> But I'm I am excited for the the trash. I love trash. That's what me and you also have in common is that we both love trash. And if and if you've been here before, if you've seen my recent Sunday streams, you'll know about my love hate relationship with trash. <laughs> you'll know very well. Oh. Shrek Extra Large. I'm after Shrek Extra Large, I'm like, that's just like the basis for me to compare everything else against. Hi, Shrek. Oh, <laughs> we'll love to sit in the dumpster and eat that shit up. Okay, here's the thing. I love I love art. And if there's one thing I love more than art, it's bad art. I love bad art so much. I love looking at a thing and if possible, trying to find the the pieces of that thing that somebody put really hard work into. Because for for every bad movie, there is one I don't know, makeup designer who's given it, putting their whole pussy into it. And I love that. I love that. Do you reckon Nico Mickey's breath smells like cat food? <laughs> smells like cat food? No. No, I don't think so. I would never say that about my client. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mickey's breath probably tastes tastes like whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Smells like <laughs> Smells like toothpaste. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Typo in the Discord! Typo in the Discord! <laughs> I realized my mistake as soon as I said it. You haven't even tasted my breath. Your, yeah, because your tongue is yellow, and that's freaky. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> My tongue is black, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kills you. <laughs> My breath tastes like cranberries. Bonk. Oh. <gasps> How dare you? This is my house. In my house? Oh, you kick me yet? <laughs> Oh. Um. Uh. Tongue. Head. X. Y. I really, I really did put this off to the last thing because I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do the mouth. The mouth stuff. Oh, I forgot the set of keyframe. Oh, my pain.
<laughs> My cat is going to throw up. Hold on a second. <laughs> I know right now. Instantly. I'll be right back. I return. Kitty cat is fine. Do not worry your pretty little head about my kitty cat. She froze up all the time. Just because uh, she gets a lot of hairballs. <laughs> She's a long-haired cat. The world is too hot for her. Good job, Minky. <laughs> Honestly, she's been pretty good recently. And she's been... You'll be happy to know that she's been gaining a lot of weight. I was really worried about her and worried about, like, her being too skinny. Um, because I was stressed from, like, leaving uh, for different vacations and things. And just this whole year, I've been worried about her losing weight because there's been a lot of stressful changes for her. And... Uh, lately I've taken to wetting her dry food because she likes her dry food, but if I, I found out if I wet it, she'll eat more of it and she really likes it. So, and, and she's been doing that and I've been feeding her multiple times a day in smaller increments and she's been putting on weight and I'm very happy for her. <laughs> I call it the slop. <laughs> Mixing the dry with a little bit of wet food gets them into it, yes. I've gotten her wet food in the past, and she just would be, like, not interested in it. She's very, very picky, and it was funny when I got her. They were like, she's so food-driven. She's not food-driven at all. She's not food-driven. She does not give a shit about food. <laughs> Don't give Mickey the slop. Don't give Mickey the slop. <laughs> it's not, it's, for, for a large, your cat girl needs more than just slop. <laughs> for a healthy diet. It's only good for Minky because she's like six pounds wet. <laughs> Motherfucker, I keep not setting keys. 
What is wrong with me? I'm like, yeah, that looks nice and good. And then I'm like, ah, shit. One of your friends has an ancient cat who's really picky. Like, she'll only eat fresh, wet food. Has to have a different wet food for every meal. What a princess. Oh, my gosh. Mink does not, she doesn't like, like a lot of wet foods. And if she doesn't eat it right away, it just like sits there. It just sits there and like gets, like, I don't want it to get gross on her. I don't want her to get sick. So I just, I'm glad that she likes the slop. <laughs> and it helps her stay hydrated too, because she, cats don't drink enough water. Apparently this is not just a thing with my cat. They just don't drink enough water, reportedly. Um, let's do the upper teeth here. This is so weird and interesting. What is like the the most like mouth open pose? Oh, pucker, I guess. Bermuda, Bahama. Most of these don't work with with the mouth open, so. These V Bridger forms. They're specifically for like when the mouth is kind of closed. The pog face. Pog. Oh. The teeth. The teeth. I have to cover that up. Cover that up. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama, to my pretty mama. He like go, but he go, baby, why don't we go? Get there fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where we want to go. Gotta cover the cover up the, the seams. Well, perfect door chemistry. That's a pog, though. Urgh, it's peeking through. Okay, hold on, hold on. Pickle contact high. Got Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take it. Bahama, come on, pretty mama. He largo, Montego, baby, but I'll take you down to Coco Mo. There we go. 23 year old cat that's so fucking picky is so funny to you. I, it's, I, you know, I would be like that too. Careful, it's not a kidney issue. The wetter and easier to digest, the better. Yeah, I got, I took her to, um, I took her to the vet a while back, and I think it had a lot to do with her like having stress over life changes. So <laughs> I love a grumpy old lady cat. Oh, so describing her as leaking recently his house is piss palace with a cat herself as happy as can be. Old cats are very silly. Pog. That's a pog. Now that's a pog. Um, what was I? Reset to default values. Oop. Uh, we'll take the glasses off just so I can see the mouth. Open, jaw open. Do the smile. Okay. I'll take you down to Coco Mo. We'll get there fast and then we'll take it slow. We don't a Coco Mo. I think this should be over here a little bit more. I 
And maybe it should just be like longer. It's a weird thing to say. Make the teeth longer. Maybe that's too much. Mm -hmm. You're touching my dreams. Oh, give me my weakness. Old guy was so picky about his soup. Had to be recently wet, but not too long ago, so it wasn't completely soft, but also not dry. That's, that's kitty cats. And it's like, you'll literally starve. But then I think about myself. And I'm like, I didn't eat dinner last night because I didn't have the appetite for anything. So <laughs> maybe I'm not much better. And don't say busy, you gotta eat. I know I gotta eat. I'm just stupid sometimes, okay? <laughs> just stupid. Next time I'll, like, order something at least. <laughs> Wet food too strong for his old majesty. Oh! That's cute. Goes that way. Theoretically, it would go this way. This is gonna be this is gonna be weird. Cause like I guess I could flip these teeth, uh these like back teeth and put them over here as well. The good and the bad times we've been through them all. Ordered food today, and they com they forgot your chili cheese bowl, so you called them and had it delivered later when you got it. It was five chili cheese nuggets in a plastic container. Oh my gosh, Yuzu. Wait, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight because I have a meal kit that I need to make. But I should make a potato with, with chili in it. A chili cheese potato. <gasps> oh, I'm making myself hungry. Okay. <laughs> It was six euros? <laughs> Excuse me, what is a chili cheese nugget anyways? That's like more than a, more than one euro per nugget and euros, are euros more than a dollar? They're about the same. They're about the same. I mean, I always knew that they were about the same, but, like, it changes. Euro about equal to a dollar. Yeah. It fluctuates whether or not the euro is, is more than a dollar or less than a dollar, right? But it's less than a dollar right now. But still, that's, like, that's, like, five dollars for, like, five chicken nuggets. That's terrible. The economy. <laughs> the economy's in shambles. I'm back in 52. Lying awake and singing it on you. When I was young, it didn't stop you coming through. Ow, ow. Don't call it a chili cheese bowl. That's not a bowl. I want a salad. I am. Oh. <laughs> I'm thinking about a lot of things. I'm so normal. This is. That's also like the mark of the grandma is being like, oh, I want a nice salad. <laughs> Oh, uh, my bones. My bones are falling apart. I love crossword puzzle. I love salad. <laughs> I'd have a nice salad right now. I fucking wish that there was a Panera near me. I want a fucking Panera. <laughs> Give me Panera. <laughs> I love that fucking Fuji Apple chicken salad. 
Sorry for yelling. <laughs> and in my car, can't rewind, we've gone too far. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. What's a girl got to do around here to get a Fuji apple chicken salad? Or an apple pecan chicken salad from Wendy's? Those are my, those are my main, my main girls. I love them. I think this, this mouth is just generally too big right now. For the tongue. Um, the strawberry salads at Wendy's. I always see the strawberry salads on the menu and I'm like, oh, I should try that. And then I'm like, oh, but if I try that, then I can't get my apple pecan chicken salad. And I never do. <laughs> Which is also what happens at Panera. Or at least last time I went to Panera. I haven't been in a long time. Radio star, video kill the radio star, kill the radio star, kill the radio star. That's cute. That's cute. Recently had a McAllister open. I don't know about a McAllister. Uh, Kevin? <laughs> In those situations, you get both. But, like, a salad is not good after, like, an hour. Like, you got it, like, or two hours. I have, like, never saved a salad and been happy with it. I am the tiger. Doing too much to this. And try not to scream, it's me. I am behind you. If the dressing is separate, you can eat it for dinner. I've never done that before, but you are absolutely correct. You are absolutely correct. I ha I got a Caesar salad when I was in Disneyland with my sister. And it was so bad. It was so, it was so wet. And I don't know, I guess if you really like what what is the dressing on Caesar's salad? I don't know. If you really like that kind of dressing, then it's like, yeah, I love this. Can't taste any of the lettuce. And I was just like, oh, this is too much. This is too much. It was it was moist. It was wet. It was ick. I did not like it. Hmm, I'm like, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? There we go. I always find you. I am a tiger, tiger, tiger. My favorite little known ABBA song. But it's like I couldn't even finish that salad that I had. It was it was that it was it was too much. It was just that bad.
Oh, won't you take my white ass to Funky Town, please? I wanna go to Funky Town! Right for me. Well, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about moving. Got to move on. I would like to hide this, like, sharp corner of this tongue, possibly. If possible, I'll probably just bring this in anyways. Won't you take me to funk it down? Won't you take me to funk it down? That's looking nice. Oh. No salad in your fridge today. You're very lazy right now. So you'll have an egg sandwich for dinner. I love egg sandwich. I used to hate egg and now I love egg. I, the other day I hard boiled a bunch of eggs just so I could have um egg snack whenever I wanted it. Egg sandwich, my friend. I love, I love egg sandwich, white American cheese. Very specific about that because I'm from South Jersey where I we don't put yellow dye in our cheese. White American cheese. I can taste the dye. I don't like it. Fried egg Um, on some like, some, like thick cut bread. Some slices of bacon and sriracha mayo. That's my go-to egg sandwich. I fucking love that. I love that. Ah, oh, I like the way that this mouth is looking. I'm very happy with it right now. Okay, what I want to do here is copy this tooth. Um, now I'm gonna have to label them left and right. Is this the original. This is the original one. So this will leave lower back. Uh, right. And then this one will be left. We'll take this, reflect, bring it over here. You might be hurt, babe. I know, you know. Come and go. No way, no cry, baby, that's why. Never seems enough for you. You don't want to lose it again. To love somebody, guess what? It's gonna be me. I think I'll just move the tongue in a little bit more. Instead of doing that, make the tongue a little smaller. You're just too blind to see. In the end, you know it's gonna be me.
I didn't even do anything to that, and it, it's kind of doing what I want it to do. Except, like, if it could be, at, like, where is it here? I'll be the one you'll see. It's gonna... It's gonna be me. They're back. R. We'll just copy that and do that for this one. This one. Don't like plain egg, but egg recently has become my friend. When you learn to like eggs, it's like really good for you. It's good for you to like eggs. I understand not liking the texture of eggs. I I have been there. But like it's such a, like an easy source of protein. And it just it's like wow, this is an ingredient I can uh, use. I labeled this wrong. Get to love somebody. Guess what? Egg and I used to be in an on and on again, off again relationship with a bad breakup. Then I went on tea. Now I crave egg. For me, the thing that changed was that I just, um, I went to a place that had really good eggs. That was literally the only thing was that the, I went to Vieques and Vieques has a lot of wild chickens walking around and the eggs are really fresh. And it's very different. Fresh egg. It's delicious. Wow! I did that! That's fucking crazy! Whoa! I did that! <laughs> well, when you have wild horses all over your island, it's not too weird to have wild chickens. Wild chickens are a lot more normal than wild horses. I might export this and test it out. Um, we don't have corners yet, so we like the head can't like turn. Um, so we'll have to text test the X and Y sort of like individually. But I want the little dopamine hit that I get when I export a new file. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> and we'll just like, when we wanna look at the X one, we'll look at the X one. When we wanna look at the Y one, we'll look at the Y one. Oh wait, I forgot to do the Y angles. Uh, <laughs> for the teeth. Oopsie. Um, stop exporting. Stop exporting. I have a thing to do. <laughs> okay, lie to D. We're just gonna sit here for a second. I'll stretch. I'll stretch while I'm waiting. Okay, there we go. Well, it heard that I wanted to stretch and then said, no. <laughs> um, okay. This, 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 this. The head does some weird things. When I mess with the Y angles, uh, from that position. Okay. Mouth open. Jaw open. Might mess with the, um, mouth head X, Y on this and bring this down a little bit. Mm 
that's better. Okay. So for this, I'm still standing. Let me turn off the top teeth to figure this out. All right, through this right here. Without you on my mind, I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad for like the first go for it. We mess with the other stuff individually now. Without you on my mind, I'm still standing. I'm still standing. like rounding it out well, I'm still standing never did like a true survivor for you like a little kid I'm still standing after all this time pieces of my life without you on my mind Yeah, yeah, yeah. These teeth have a very weird shape that makes it like more difficult to to position the way that I think looks the most natural. But hey. Po buddy's nerfed. And really it should just be all the way back here. Like <laughs> that'll do, pig. Oh, but not quite. Oh, but not quite. Oh! Oh! Um... Just cover that up. You didn't see anything. And what will be And she's dancing like she's never danced before Oh. Ah, uh, that's scary. 
<laughs> That's so scary! Ah! <laughs> Remember my mantra? No, I'm, yeah, I know my mantra. I know my mantra, that'll do pig. It's it's just not where I want it to be a little bit, yeah. It, I'm not futzing, I'm just getting it to look how I want it to look initially. This this like the this mouth skin is is doing so much like work for me. It's it's doing everything for me. <laughs> Love the moment mid rig where it's, it turns out very cursed. Don't like that. Let me just do uh you Guys like when I do this? <laughs> that looks kind of cool. Honestly? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Biblically accurate anime girl. There's so many bees in the eyes and the eyebrows specifically. Incredible. <laughs> All right. Uh just making these bottom teeth look more normal. How did it end up looking like that? Oh, it's the jaw open. That's right. It needs to be down here. So it's when there's talking and it's covered up by the mouth. Okay, I think I just want to bring up th this part. On this side of the head. So really just like round it out. And that'll do pig. But we do need to bring the upper teeth back, is the thing. Um, so we'll do these upper teeth. You want them to be more rounded out this way. Ah! Didn't set a keyframe. I'm off my game today. I am very much off my game today in terms of setting my keyframes. Hmm. Let me turn off all of that. <laughs> oh no! 
No teeth. No teeth. <laughs> no teeth. So no teeth. It looks fine without like the top teeth, but without the bottom teeth, it looks so like wrong. Gum, gummy mouth, weird. <laughs> Only gums. Only suck. <laughs> All right, we're. There we go. Okay, we do have to again fix this upper line of skin. And normally this wouldn't be a problem. It's just uh with this rig in particular. The mouth is so close to the chin that I have to clip the teeth to the skin instead of the mouth shape because the mouth shape will exit the overall shape of the head if I'm not careful. Honestly, while I'm here, might as well just Dang girl, you got safeguard. Wounds. Let's hear them. Stretch. I should stretch. Thank you. Give me one moment. And save? I think I will. Oh, save. Oh, God! All right. Save. Oh, God, thank please. you for taking save. care of me, Mewchi. Save. save. I am your faithful Nintendo dog. Is it because Caramel Dancing is playing? My bones are quiet now. Because I stretched more recently. Caramel Dancing. Know how it can be when your nose deep into stuff and forget self care? Yeah. I love working. I do get lost in it. The hyperfixation. Is that teeth? Oh my god, it is. Ha ba 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 ba. Awesome. Okay. Now we just gotta do the angle. Why up pose? Your back popped. Oh no. Yeah, you should get up and stretch too. When I stretch, you should stretch. Take care of your bodies. I know a lot of people in here like to come and, and work and lurk. So remember to stretch yourself too. Listen and learn. I captain. Arg. Arg. Making a pirate augmented reality uh series called that an arg. <laughs> I don't want to listen to Rap God. 
No, not you either. No. Yes. underneath the palm trees and then trying to get a little sneak peek at us nothing comes close to the golden coast you'll be falling in love oh, 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 oh. They're unforgettable Daisy Duke's bikinis on top. That's so cute. You got it unlocked. Nothing comes close to the golden ghost. Party with uh, us. Be falling in love. Uh, 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 uh. Daisy Duke's bikinis on top. They're undeniable. You got it unlocked. Just bringing this in a little bit. So fucking cute! Ah! <laughs> Sorry for screaming into the mic. I'm sure people are, are focusing and being normal. <laughs> oh, it's coming together. It's all coming together. Oh, it's all coming together. I'm exporting a version of it. Who is she? <laughs> She's indeed very cute. Uh, let go. Mickey. 2309.13. It is the 13th. My last export was about a week ago. Oh my god. Terrible. I need my dopamine. Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Whenever I think of si Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks, I think of uh, if if women are oppressed, then why Simon? I love when it's just I can only find a screenshot of the post. If women are oppressed, then why Simon? It's just like these like screenshots with a little eye funny in the corner. I hate I hate seeing them in captivity like this. I need to see them in the wild. This should be on Tumblr alone. <laughs> if women are oppressed, then why Simon? <laughs> yeah, I I can't think of anything else when I see this little chipmunk man. I can't. <laughs> it's just how my brain is. Oh, here's a good one. 
Uh, anybody been watching Fiona and Cake recently? <laughs> I want to watch it, but I haven't. <laughs> you think of Chipmunks, the first song that comes to mind is the Cheese Ball song. I, the one that comes to me is um, the Boys and Girls of Rock and Roll. Yeah, the Boys of Rock and Roll. It's not how the song goes, but it's it's something like that. The animation in that movie, it's some, like, Richard Williams shit or something. It's some really, really good, like, beautiful, very dimensional drawings in Alvin and the Chipmunks. It's crazy looking back on movies like that and seeing how well animated some of them are and being like, oh, shit. Like, this wasn't even considered, like, a high-budget movie. Like, it's just it's just one guy at a desk going off. Like, that's what's happening there. All right, I'm gonna um, turn this off for a second and go into my folders so I can drop off this file. You haven't seen it yet, but you feel like you need to? I would play it on stream if I wasn't worried about copyright issues. Um, Because I have... Uh, my channel's separated for Spotify, but not for YouTube videos always. I'll also have you all know that I get a little a little copyright hit every time that I play Carcamel Dancing. So <laughs> that's all another reason why I don't play it all the time. <laughs> um, okay, I need to um open up VTube Studio. Let's see, is the file in here now? Whoa! Okay, um... I don't think this is the new file. I think this is the old file. Is it? It looks pretty good. I don't know. I can... Oh, there's only one way for me to confirm. No, this is the old one. Okay. Um, I'm going to reload VTube Studio. Streamer will be gone. Oh, streamer gone. Streamer gone. Streamer, streamer back. Streamer back. Okay. Uh... Yes, okay, now we have the uh, new file. Whenever we're meant to be together. Okay. Okay. It'll take a second. Whoa, okay. Let's go to the just chatting screen. Hi, <laughs> I have to enable, um, first of all, oh, big zoomy eyes. <laughs> I have to enable vBridger. Um, and I also have to set up an expression for the ears. Um, vBridger, vBridger. <laughs> yeah, the teeth are gonna look weird until I um connect this. I think I might have to unplug my VTube Studio connection. I'm reloading. Oh, lo le lo le lo le. You just look at this beautiful, beautiful static image. Forever, forever. We're meant to be together. You be near. That's the deal, my dear. You got me head over heels. Hmm. V Bridger. S -s 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 v Bridger. Okay, hold on. <laughs> V Bridger! 
she's trying. I I gotta say, she is trying. PSP 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 He's really going off. He's really going off. Um I could try eye facial mocap. I have my facial mocap on here. Where the hell is it? There it is. Um, okay. Um. There, okay, we got iFa I facial mocap is working. My VBridger connections with the with VTube Studio were a bit weird, so okay. Connect. Start sending. Whoa! Okay. Um, I think it's coming through okay. It's a, it's stuttering. It's really... Is my phone overheating? It's not that hot. It's definitely stuttering a bit. It's slow! You would not believe your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna try VTube Studio again. I'm gonna try it again. Um, I'll just reopen it. <laughs> it was just too slow. It was lagging too much. I'm not going to get, like, good results if it's lagging. Um. Connect to PC. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Err, VTube Studio, VBridger, please. One of the two of you, please. Oh. I wish it was just as simple as plugging it in. If I could just plug it in, that would be awesome. That's what I do for my regular VTube studio. I just plug it into USB. What is VBridger, may you ask? It is a plugin that allows for additional mouth forms. Um, it's still connecting. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Arr! I worked so hard on those additional forms and I want to see them. Okay. Um, maybe we try eye facial mocap again, just so I can at least explain what it's all about. Okay. Connect. There's eye facial mocap. Okay. Okay. It's still a little bit laggy. It's, oh my God. <laughs> It's hella laggy. That's, it's whoa. <laughs> it makes the mouth more expressive and smooth. It adds um, additional parameters for, like if, if I zoom in, it's not, the mouth sync, lip sync is gonna look weird because the program is lagging, but I, I can do a, like a little funnel mouth I can do, there's like a little bit of extra movement on the lips um, where you press them together. And uh, mouth shrug. So if I go like this, kind of like raises up a little bit and you can chew with your mouth closed. At least you should be able to. It's being a bit weird. It's being a bit weird. <laughs> the puppy face, the cheek squish. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I do need to set it up so there's ears. Currently, no ears. No ears! Um, life without sorrow. When you think about tomorrow. Just go in and shout it out loud. Chihuahua here, Chihuahua there. Everybody wants it everywhere. Life can be so easy. Chihuahua, what can make you move? Can you feel the groove? Expression editor. Let's make a new expression. Create new expression. Select. Oh, wig. Um, we need. Uh, ears. Ears. And... Oh, it's like the third parameter I have. Here we go. You don't see anything being affected? Because they, they, I'm bald. We go here. Chihuahua here, chihuahua there. Everybody wants it everywhere. There we go. That's so cute. Yippee! <laughs> no tongue. Artist no makey. <laughs> no tongue. None. Makes my life a little bit easier, too. <laughs> That's some nice range. I'm, I wish it were the program wasn't lagging. Oh. There we go. My phone is like 20% uh, battery and probably just dropped like 20% in the last 10 seconds. Just because it's so laggy, I think I might test it a little bit more with just regular VTube Studio. I wish it was working. I wish it was working better. I do. I'll try VTube Studio one more time. The range is fantastic. Yeah, that, that's what I'm testing right now. I'm not as worried about the mouth forms right this second. I do want to record something if I, once I get V Bridger working for me. Um, I would love to get that to be set up properly, but right now, being frustrating. Okay, I'm seeing where this is supposed to connect to because it's not connecting to anything right now. Hello? Hello? It has no idea what it's supposed to connect to. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hi, oh, Shrek. Hi, Shrek. How you doing? Why isn't it working? I wish it just connected through uh the regular USB. I would that would be the best thing for me. What type of dog is this? Oh, is Kitty Cat silly? All right, let's just USB connect. Okay. Hello. Okay. Um I do have to adjust one thing if I'm not using VBridger. I have to you saw me do it earlier. I have to make the jaw move with the mouth open. My brows also won't be as expressive. I added brow forms for the... For additional expressiveness. Oh! <laughs> my, <laughs> my eyebrow! <laughs> jaw open. We'll change that to... Mouth open. Select. Okay. Oh, that's so much more normal. Okay, let's uh, let's have to test them individually because they'll look stop and starty if I'm not doing them individually. Okay, we'll change this to nothing for right now. So this is the X, X and Z. So we have the little bit of the head rotation. Whoa! <laughs> it 
Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Blah. What was that? What's over there? Hmm? Hmm? Too precious. <gasps> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Too precious. Ah. <laughs> and then to test the um the Y angles, we'll change this to face angle Y. We'll just turn the X angles off. Hmm. Something's weird. Oh no, it's fine. It's just my tracking. I made that. Hmm. It feels like it's getting like stuck. But I don't know if that's VTube Studio doing it or what. Just some casual head banging. Hmm. Hmm. My mouth is twitching so much. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna cal let me calibrate. I'll calibrate. That's better. That's better. <laughs> I you know that I've got fat cheeks IRL when it thinks that if I tilt my head up too high that I'm like pouting. I'm making myself dizzy. <laughs> I like the I like the X angles a lot. I might mess with the Y angles a little bit to push them. Maybe. They look really good, but in terms of like setting stuff. It feels like if I go over here, right? If I look at my my file. It's like Feels like that's more extreme than what I'm capable of doing right now. I'm gonna like lose my headphones. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Something weird might be happening. I don't know. But that's for me to test later. <laughs> oh. You can see all that. All right. I want to see the X angles again because they're really cute. Oh, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Okay. Um. Oh, it's because I had the X angles set up. And it's like tracked a little bit. Okay, okay, I see what's happening. It's a VTube Studio thing. Um, if I reload the model, maybe it'll be the way I want it to be. Hello? We reload the model? It's like only moving half as much as I want it to. So let me go over here. And go over here. There we go. Now we can see it. 
Here, go back to just chatting. Much better. I'm taking off my headphones because I'm gonna knock them off my head. <laughs> I'm a dev I'm devious. I'm devious little trickster. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I was like, something's not right. <laughs> Something is not right. I have to fix it. Much better. Much better. <laughs> this is so devious. This is like a <laughs> I'm gonna take the glasses off wow <laughs> love it thank you now you can judge perfectly go <laughs> side eye bombastic side eye <laughs> wait, wait now i need to i need to swap them for the X angle to do the proper side eye. Um, where is it? Um, <laughs> go over here. Let's see. Uh, so turn this off. Okay, I really do just have to reload the model if I want to check out the different. Angle X, angle Y. <laughs> Gotta reload it. <laughs> Big mouth. <laughs> All right. That's the old one. This is new improved. There we go. So now. Oh, no, that angle X still needs to be turned on. Oh. It's angle X. There we go. Side eye, bombastic side eye, criminal offensive side eye. <laughs> oh, yay! Okay, I'm very, very happy where things are the way they are so far. Um, oh, wig. <laughs> oh, where are the ears? This one's the ears. Okay, I think it'll be really cute to have the ears toggle on with some physics, and same thing with the hair. Um, and the glasses. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse, we have to cook. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna fight with a uh, V Bridger later. I am the danger. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> Where's my Zoom go? Right here? Hi. <laughs> hair. Ears. If you remove the hair with the ears, they're just all one piece. In one piece. Yeah. I'm a fan of the, the X angles. Um... The Y angles are nice, too. I'm usually a bigger fan of my Y angles than the X ones, but just I'm very happy with how these X angles turned out. That's good. Some good range. A one Piece mentioned. <laughs> I left everything I own in one piece. <laughs> I am dying in your arms tonight. Okay. Um, I've been streaming for three... Hours. I said I would get started on corners today. Can I remove the hair but keep the ears? Not the way that I currently have it set up, but like theoretically, I could I could just like right here in VTube Studio. Let's see what that looks like. Let's have a little thought exercise. Um, model settings. Let's see. Customize model. Multiply screen color. Okay. Uh, alpha. Um. Uh, 
Oh, oh. I'm just dying in your arms tonight. I should have walked away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um. There we go. Where are the other ones? This hair side L. <laughs> just one single piece of hair. How long am I going to work, huh? With my wrist hurting, huh? I want to, at the very least, see what VTube, not VTube Studio, Live 2D gives me for the corners when I synthesize them. I want to see what fucked up creation I get. <laughs> there, with one front log. Yeah, <laughs> no. There you go. It's it doesn't <laughs> the one ear looks fine. The other one, um <laughs> The other one kinda just floats. <laughs> what type of dog is this? <laughs> what what type of dog is this? I can't <laughs> This is what the people want. I can say as someone who's done a lot of rigging, this is what the people want. They like they like when you're bald. <laughs> They like to steal your wig. They, they. they must they, have been something you said. X to Ansof. Y G G G G G G G G. X to Ansof. Y G G G G G G G G. X to Ansof. Y G G G G G G G G. X to Ansof. Y G G G G G G G G. Soda. Soda! Welcome on in, Soda. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, I'm give I'm giving the hair back. I'm giving the hair back. There we go. Our hair is back. Hello there. Hello there. Thank you for that follow, whoever you are out there in the ether. You like my G? I do. It was very funny. <laughs> um, let me zoom out. But welcome on in, Soda. I love Soda. Can we get a, sh a shout out for Soda? My favorite dog chant. When I asked what type of dog is this, I meant Soda! <laughs> Follow Soda. Soda's so fucking funny. I got major FOMO, Soda, when I saw that you, <laughs> you broke your stream, like, live. And everybody was having so much fun. And I, I saw that and I was like, I got FOMO. I got FOMO. I wanted to be there. <laughs> um, this is what I've been working on. This over here. I mean, it's it's what I'm what I'm modeling right now. Um We've been doing some X angles, some Y angles. And now we're going to look to see. <laughs> that was not planned. You just went off the rails. What, you didn't plan to play six different games? To play Fortnite and Among Us and and all of <laughs> You weren't planning to do that? <laughs> um let me select all of this. Uh synthesize corners. Oh, You know? You know? These aren't t that bad, aside from the mouth breaking here, but that's uh, something I knew I would have to fix. You know? Oh! Well, that's what you don't see when you have the hair on, I think. <laughs> where, where, where is that going? Where is where is that going? Interesting. Interesting. Um, let me change back into something comfortable. I want to be a little creature. Uh, girl, where are you going? Oh, my hat. My lady. Uh <laughs> Oh. I almost lost my top. <laughs> it's like on my chin. Oh my god. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
<laughs> Girl, where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, girl? I'm too I'm too big. I'm covering up Zbat. Here, Zbat can you go over here, I guess, and cover up Rico. There we go. My big ears always block my dog's head. Oh, no! I should have known. I should have known. Yuzu. <laughs> Oh, uh, but like, okay, aside from the eyelash doing some weird ass shit, I feel like this did a lot of work for me. You might not see it, but I see it. That's what right. What type I of dog is this? I don't know. You tell, you tell me. <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll handle those eyelashes. We'll handle the the mouth. Honestly, the inside of the mouth is looking really good too. The actual mouth X Y like this, the, the the lips not so much. And all of it needs to be adjusted a little bit. Synthesized corners never really does much for me. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Oh, <laughs> the ear! No! There's a hole in it! Say it anyway. The glasses look pretty good, except they're on this side that, that's not so good. I'd probably turn this the opposite way too. These left side ones are not as good. But these ones are pretty good. Big smile. <laughs> A little bit crazy. <laughs> the way that it sticks out. <laughs> okay, I really shouldn't do a super extra long stream or anything like that. I feel guilty for not really tackling the corners too much today and just doing the ears and the the mouth, but Honestly, it looks really good, so I'm not going to feel guilty. Uh, <laughs> and the corners are going to take a little bit, too. And I have, you know, there's two days. Two days until my next stream. So I'll, I have plenty of time tomorrow and the day after. I'm ex so excited to get them done, though, because um, I just, like, it, it starts to really come together when you have those head angles all done. And you can just, like... Open it up and wiggle around. No 24 hour stream. No Dave the Diver collab. -y. Oh, I would, I would Dave the Diver collab in an instant if there was multiplayer. I w if there was multiplayer, I would be there instant. I love that fucking game. Um, could you imagine 24 hour rigging stream? Honestly, honestly, I think I could do it. I could do it. Not, not now, but like. <laughs> I could do it. I last time I did a uh last year for my birthday I did a 12 hour stream. You would never let me do a 12 hour stream. You're not my mom. <laughs> You're not my mom. I feel like I would not be rigging anything particularly good in a 24 hour stream. Watch someone do four rigs in a month for art fight. I think I know who you're talking about. It was Oh. Dog with a hat and Super Yuzu both ganging up on me, saying no 24-hour stream. If, what if it was like a donathon? What if it was like a donathon and I was rigging silly stuff for people? I feel like that could be fun. But I more likely would be like a 12-hour stream. Maybe I'll do something special for my birthday this year. I w didn't really have anything planned for my birthday this year. Just because I've been a little bit swamped and, and overwhelmed. But... It could be fun to do like a 12 hour rig or something like that. Um, just like doing silly stuff. Doodle fun. You would be there. Thank you. Well, my birthday's coming up. It's, um, I believe it's on a Saturday. It's September 23rd. It's coming up 10 days away.
Though actually, hmm. I was planning to get yummy food that day too. So maybe not a 12 hour stream. Or maybe I'll just have yummy birthday food on a different day other than my exact birthday. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, I'll try to do something at least a little bit special. Because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. And if you got a reason to celebrate, you should celebrate it too. Yeah. Um, I'll think. I'll think. I'll, I'll, I'll rack my little brain. But for now, I think we did some good work today. I technically worked on the corners when I hit the synthesize button. So let's see. <laughs> let's see who's online. I would work harder uh, if I uh, wasn't messed up. Have, bleh, bleh, bleh. If I didn't have a messed up wrist right now, um, if I was in peak condition, I would keep going. But I know that I should stop and Yuzu will beat me to a pulp if I don't. <laughs> um, I think I know who I want to raid. But let me just check. Let me just check one thing before I make that decision. Good VZ. I cooked really well today. Thank you. Sometimes the head XY is a little bit of a of a slow cook. You put that one in the crock pot. And I think with an asymmetrical model, it is going to be the the most difficult bit. Honestly, if you okay, I do want to say this before I go. If you if you are planning to do an asymmetrical model, I would recommend that you draw the head symmetrically and the body asymmetrically because in rigging like i can like instead of the instead of the model being starting here like the art was in this pose first i think if you were to make one for yourself just start the head here just start the head here and then what you can do is just like rig angle X to go farther than normal. And then you can just set it in the middle. And then, you know, so like your your starting pose can actually just be your like furthest right pose. I think that's an, like a very easy way to to do an asymmetrical model. Take notes, take notes, take notes. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was making an asymmetrical model. I know for a fact that I would never do an asymmetrical model for myself for the sheer reason of, it, for me, it's more valuable to have a a blank slate that I can put more clothes on. So I think um, an asymmetrical model is is really, really good for if you're not somebody who loves constant change like me. <laughs> and you're naked, yeah. I I love playing dress up. Pe the people the people know this about me. I love play dress up. I love dolls. I I love working on my models off stream because uh the boobs might show and Twitch will get me in trouble. <laughs> you do too. You need help. We all do. We all do. Oh my god, it's like every single month I'm like, mm -mm, should I do a little rebrand? <laughs> I I fight myself so hard to not rebrand. Already cooking a couple models ahead? Oh. <laughs> That's why I have like four different outfits for my anime model that I need to change. <laughs> I have I have four different outfits that are in progress. Four different outfits for my anime model in progress. I have a 3.0 in progress and I still some days will go <laughs> What if um what if I was like a little teacup pig or something like that? <laughs> what if I <laughs> What if I like completely changed my whole thing? <laughs> So, <laughs> but I won't, I won't, I think if anything, I'll make like a 3D model of, of my other idea and then just have it be like a fun little experiment. Maybe make dolls of it. L listen, sometimes you don't need your, like your, your new idea to become your identity. Sometimes you can make it into a cute little thing that you draw all the time. An OC, if you will. Anyways, I'm getting I'm getting off topic. 
Oh, so anyway, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Let's go raid Gloop. If anybody feels the way I do about you now. All right, raid message is... Anyways, here's Wonderwall. <laughs> Anyways, here it's Wonder Wall. I don't believe that anybody. There you go. <laughs> so if you want to say hi to Gloop, um, that there you go. <laughs> There's your raid message. Thank you for freaking and streaming. Thank you for being here, Soda. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for everybody who came to hang out with me today. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for watching me cook. I'm looking forward to cooking some more. I'll be cooking more next week. Uh, I will be streaming uh, a video game on Saturday. Um, I don't know what. Awesome Island, maybe? I think it's called Awesome Island. Um... <laughs> I've got some weird GameCube games that I could try. Also some weird Switch games that I forgot about until recently. Anyways, thank you all so much for being here. I'm gonna go now. Stay sexy out there, okay? Kiss the homies goodnight. Take care of yourself and eat some good food. Bye!